Are you tired of being bound by your current physical challenges? Have you given up hope for a brand new day? Or maybe, just maybe, you feel that this is the way life is supposed to be. Hi, I'm Lemuel Blackett, Partnership Development Associate for Our Prayer. Today I would like to tell you how to be free from suffering. St. Mark chapter 5, verses 34 through 33 says, Then the woman, knowing what had happened to her, came and fell at his feet, and trembling with fear, told him the whole truth. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. There is something to be said about the things we suffer within our bodies, the pain we endure when our physical strength is hindered by disease. It's hard to put into words the discomfort that traps us into believing that this is the end of the line. The things that we are so used to doing is now limited because of the challenges we face. We have tried physician after physician and it seems like nothing is working. We have spent our money on remedies that have caused us to get worse instead of getting better. It seems like we try to move forward three feet but get knocked back five. Every time we turn around, it seems like something else has been added to the plate of sickness. This was the situation of the woman in our scripture lesson. She tried everything and everyone, but nothing brought healing to her broken body. Nothing gave her the reassurance that this too shall pass. It seemed like all hope was gone. Relief was nowhere in sight. Well, I have come to let you know today that this is neither the plan nor the purpose that the Lord designed for our lives. In John 3, chapter 1, verse 2, it says, Dear friend, I pray that you may enjoy good health and that all may go well with you, even as your soul is getting along well. It is the Lord's good pleasure that you enjoy good health and that your body will function like a fine-tuned machine so that you can enjoy your life and enjoy the company of your loved ones. Now there are some things we all need to exercise in order to be freed from suffering. We must have faith that the Lord will heal us. We must trust God for his plan for our body. We must maintain our bodies with healthy eating. The body is the temple of the Holy Spirit and we must learn how to control what goes into our temple. The Lord has great work for us to do but it won't get accomplished if we continue to allow the wrong things to enter in. I encourage you today to take care of your bodies and live a life that will be pleasing to the Lord. Always remember, the Lord can't use you if you're not available to be used. We want to continue to support you in your spiritual journey. Send us your prayer requests and visit our website for inspiration. God bless you.